Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollow Thrills back with another video. And you may notice behind me the big truck. That is right, we are back here at Field of Screams. It has been a long time since we've been out here, so there's a ton of new stuff going on here at Field of Screams in Mountville, Pennsylvania. So we're here for their halfway to Halloween event. So we're gonna check out Frightmare Asylum, we're gonna check out the Den of Darkness, just like normal, but we're also gonna check out all the changes that have happened just in the entertainment area alone. There have been a ton of changes in the entertainment area since we've last been here um, for Christmas, so we're here to check out a whole bunch of stuff. We're here to check out the event, the the attractions, of course, but it's it's gonna be a very fun night. But before we get into any of it, please make sure that you are subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure on both Instagram and Twitter, the links are down in the description below. Well, let's go check out the new additions to the entertainment area. So first thing I noticed was the ton of new seating that they have over here. There's a ton of seating. I don't remember this being here last time. I know they had like a couple rows of park benches, but now they have a ton of these picnic tables here. But you may notice something over there that's brand new, so let's go take a closer look at that. Right here next to the escape rooms is this new axe throwing area. So this axe throwing area, like I said, is brand new. It was introduced, I believe, for the Valentine's Day event. Super cool that they added something else that you can do here. And of course, I mean, axe throwing is a great addition to any haunt. So you go in each stall one at a time, and you can just throw some axes. Look at that. <laughs> but I love this new addition, and this looks super nice. So for axe throwing, it is $5 for two minutes of just constant being able to throw. So you go in your little stall there, and you get two minutes to just chuck axes at the wall and see how many points you can get. I mean, it's not really game-based, it's just kind of being able to go in there and just chuck some axes at things, get some, some of that rage out, you know? But honestly, $5 for that, not bad. Now, I don't know if this is new specifically for just this halfway to Halloween event, but out here in front of the photo booth, they have the JB Love Drafts little booth here. They're giving out, they're selling beer here. I mean, that's awesome that they're starting to sell alcohol here. I always thought that was something that was kind of missing here at Field of Screams. Another new thing here is out in front of the Frightmare Asylum is this new photo op opportunity that you have before going into Frightmare. It's just like how they have it for uh, the Nocturnal Wasteland during the regular season. They'll give you this little photo op and then you can go and get your photos printed right over here. Now they used to have this photo print section right to the left of Nocturnal Wasteland. So like I said, they used to have that photo print area and it used to be to the left right here next to Nocturnal Wasteland, but it appears that that is now gone. They have completely demolished that building. So I'm interested to see what ends up filling this space here. And as far as the games over here, it appears that nothing has changed as far as how many there are over here. But it's still awesome to see the amount of things that they have available for you to do here, even if you aren't going to go through the actual haunts themselves. Alright, now we're going to head back up to the front and we're going to check out what's new at the Scream Shop. I don't know if there's going to be any new merch, but let's go check it out anyways. Here we at Scream Shop, apparel and souvenirs, of course. Still got our 30 years Harvesting Fears merch. Let's see, anything particularly new? Ooh, that's a really nice new jacket they have up there that I haven't noticed before. They got a really nice new beanie. A couple new beanies. But they does appear that they have a couple more pieces of merch here, as well as a bunch of like, you know, the normal other stuff that they have had in the past. Just a bunch of the random knickknacks and souvenirs. Not them really feel to Screams based, but I did see this. They now have pins. Love me a good pin. Might have to pick one of those up just to, to have um, for my pin board. They also have a couple new versions of these keychains. They have, of course, a chainsaw where it says Lancaster PA on one side and Field of Screams on the other. And then just kind of one of these like patch keychains that says Field of Screams on it. Now I do want to say, um, like every time that we come out here, I do want to thank Jim and Jean for inviting us out here. Without them, none of this would be possible. So big th thank you and shout out to them for allowing me, on, the ha on behalf of Boo Bros, to come out here. Um, so huge shout out to them, as always.
The chainsaw exits on both attractions are probably my favorite things to just stand and watch. They do a great job, all those chainsaw guys. They scare the crap out of people. All right, night has slowly started to fall here. So we are finally going to go in and we're going to start off with the Den of Darkness. Um, they have, I think, one or two new rooms in there that we're going to be able to check out. So be prepared for those. I think they're really early on in our walkthrough. And of course, we do get to bring our camera through. So you're going to see some of those new attractions and we're going to see how scared I get. <laughs> All right. Welcome to the Den of Darkness. You'll be staying here with us tonight. Now you'll be leaving here. This is nice. Oh no! Help! Okay. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Down we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice and foggy in here. There's a lot of spiders. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I think this is one of our new rooms. <laughs> You oh. Well then. <laughs> oh, where's our buddy? Oh, hi. Get out there, Mr. Scrub. No, Tom. I'm eating it all! No, I'm good! <laughs> oh shit, you're tall! <laughs> oh, it's dark up here. It's much darker than usual up here. I don't like it. I don't like it. Uh oh. Hi! Oh, we gotta go on our hands and knees. Stay oh, away with us! Shit! <laughs> oh, no, no! All right, that one, the one person got me really good right at the beginning. I figured that it wasn't somebody real, but I wasn't prepared. Oh, it's the darkness. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. Oh, hi. Oh dear. Oh God. I, hi. Oh Jesus, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I can't see. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I see you behind me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. 
I go here so many times that they, all the actors start to recognize me, and they give me their 110%, man. I, I love going here, and I'm, it's, it's, I'm, I'm gonna miss it, man. I'm gonna miss it. But Den was a, Den was fantastic. That one girl in the attic, kudos, kudos, shout out to you. You so far have the scare of the night. I absolutely did not expect that whatsoever. So fantastic job to you. But now as far as my review of Den, let's talk about that new room. So one new room that I definitely noticed since the last time we were here, and that was that little like kind of tool shop room right after the greenhouse that they added last year. So the tool shop room, really cool effects in there. I liked the addition of like kind of the the car battery and the then the uh, jumper cables. That's it. That's the word I was looking for. But loved that addition. Loved that scare. And they allowed there to be tons of scares from the previous room as well into that room. So there's scares coming from left and right. So I really do enjoy that room, that brand new room there. Um, and the actors, like I said, huge shout out to you guys. Absolutely killed that walkthrough. It that's going to be hard to beat for Frightmare. It really is. But um, honestly. I think it's time that we head in for Frightmare, because it's getting pretty dark now, and I think they're going to be ready to go. Alright, we got a bunch of new scenes in here, and the entire basement is basically brand new. Whoa! Uh. Whoa! I'm loving it. I'm loving the new scenes. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh, that's bright. That is bright. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, into the clown room. Oh, hi! Hi. Hi. I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing terrific. Go on right on in the closet. Enjoy yourself. Say hi to Bob. Ah! Oh, God. <laughs> I'm sorry. They just shoved me in here. Too much strobe. Oh, hi. Hi. No, I can't. I'm sorry. No, I can't. I'm sorry. I don't want to go. I'll show you my body, my warm body.
Wow! We got out of Frightmare Asylum. And I gotta say, that brand new basement area, you can tell they put a lot of work into that in the off season. It looks fantastic. Huge shout out to Jim Jean and everybody who works on this entire event. That basement scene, you cannot tell at all of what that used to be and it looks fantastic. The sets are amazing in there. The scares are left, right, center, all over. They did a fantastic job refurbing that basement and I cannot wait to see how it develops over the next couple years to see what it turns into. But it looks really good right now and I just love the different angles that, that scare actors can get from different scenes in that new area. It's, it is definitely a, a step up as far as those scenes were previously and it definitely fits Frightmare Asylum a lot like they I'm, I'm telling you that you definitely got to come out here sometime this this year to check out that new area it is really really well done um, but just as far as the rest of the haunt goes um, Frightmare good as always man honestly just besides those new areas the characters in the other sections killed it as always I, I offered them the challenge after my great run through of Den and they came to the challenge and said, you know what, we're going to one up them. But um, specifically for this uh, event, as always, like it seems like every year when I come here, they allow you to go through each of them one more time. So we're going to go through each of them one more time and I'm going to give you my final review. Who wins? Who wins this time around for the halfway to Halloween event? For, uh, for Field of Screams. I will 100% let you know after we go through both of them again and get that final review of what I think of Halfway to Halloween here at Field of Screams. All right, we went through both attractions again. And like I said, I thought the den was fantastic at the beginning of the night, but I gave the challenge to Frightmare to pick it up and see if they could do better. And they answered that. Second time through, still as great as the first time. Den fell off a little bit towards the end of the night. So I gotta give the Halfway to Halloween Field of Screams Award for Best House of the Night to Frightmare Asylum. They absolutely killed it. I loved the new scenes. Everything about Frightmare Asylum was fantastic for this event. Um, just honestly, you guys gotta 100% come out here in the fall to check out all the new stuff. Like I said, I know they have a new, um, whole new scene coming for the Hayride, so you do not want to miss that in the fall. I, I know it's going to be upset that I'm not going to be able to come out here for it in the fall, but you guys got to pick up the slack for me and come out here and check it out. But once again, thank you to Gene and Jim for allowing me to come out here and check out their event. I love coming out here every single time, and I know it's great publicity for them, so thank you yet again. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Uh, are you planning on coming out here in the fall? Or uh, what did you think of the new scenes in the asylum? I'd love to know. But as always, I'm Mike from Hollow Thrills, giving you the all clear, and all clear means you're out of here. See you guys next time.